Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. This is a man called Andrew Cuomo. Mr. Cuomo is the governor of the state of New York. New York is one of the most corrupt places in the English-speaking world. You can imagine the qualities you would need to possess in order to run a place like that. Andrew Cuomo has those qualities, and he figured he could ride them all the way to the White House. But that didn't happen. Instead, another New Yorker became president. This enraged Andrew Cuomo. He's been mad ever since. The first year of President Trump's administration, we lost 40,000 people to gun deaths, the highest number in 50 years. New York will move forward, not by building a wall, my friends, but by building new bridges. The unifier for the Democrats is their anger and fear at the Trump administration. Like so many people who truly hate Donald Trump, Andrew Cuomo tumbled headlong into the rabbit warren of Russia conspiracy. And in his defense, it did make a kind of sense. Trump is bad and orange. Therefore, he is also a traitor who works for Putin. Cuomo made that point on Twitter, quote, Trump is now aiding and abetting Vladimir Putin, a Russian dictator, and trying to cover up Russia's interference in our elections, end quote. Aiding and abetting, a cover-up. Call the police. The Russians are here. Andrew Cuomo appeared to believe all of this, and many people did. Imagine how those people must have felt yesterday. For more than two years, they waited for their prosecutor God to deliver them from their orange Babylon. When the day finally came, the joke was on them. It was all a hoax. There was no collusion. Andrew Cuomo, and a lot of people like Andrew Cuomo, suddenly looked pretty stupid. Luckily, Andrew Cuomo knows people. New York is like that. His little brother works at CNN. That's not really surprising, actually. Lots of people at CNN have close ties to the Democratic Party, including the guy who runs the place, Jeff Zucker. Zucker's often said that he may run himself for office as a Democrat. So if you want to know what Democratic Party functionaries are thinking, just flip on CNN. Well, last night, pretty much everyone on CNN seemed upset by the Mueller report. Andrew Cuomo's little brother looked especially agitated. He'd heard people criticizing CNN. He doesn't like that. It shouldn't be allowed. I'm not going to let people say uh, that, uh, you know, CNN or the media or whatever have been creating a false narrative. Yep. This report is plenty of proof that the questions that have been asked repeatedly were legit and that the answers we were getting consistently were not, especially once you get past the line of, hey, are you a felon? Once you move past that, the things they did, the meetings they had, the, the explanations they gave were wrong consistently. So you got that? I'm not going to let people say CNN was wrong. I won't allow that. To which you might understandably respond, who cares what you think, pal? Just because you're the governor's little brother doesn't mean you get to tell me what to say. Buzz off. Get over yourself. Well, okay, you could say that. We're not telling you not to say that. You could ignore his orders entirely if you wanted to. It's up to you. It's your life. But before you make any hasty decisions, we thought you ought to see this. You guys who are asking for the fitness tips, I'll give you one. The key to this is make sure that the dumbbells are going to trail next to your body like this as you go up and down. If you see me coming like that, I'm not doing the exercise right. All right. Whoa. Okay. Now ask yourself again, do you really want to criticize CNN? Does that seem like a smart move? This is New York. When the governor's little brother suggests that you do something, it's wise to pay close attention if you know it's good for you. So repeat after me. CNN was never wrong. CNN got it right. CNN is the most trusted name in news. Good. The governor's brother likes it better when you talk that way. If only everyone was so obedient. Because let's be honest, not everybody is that obedient. Some people are still going to point out that CNN did, strictly speaking, get the biggest story of the decade completely and utterly and flamboyantly wrong. People will say that no matter how many barbells its anchors lift. Because it's undeniably true. And it wasn't just CNN. Virtually the entire news media did the same thing. This was failure on an unprecedented scale. The Russia hoax wasn't simply part of what the media covered. Often it was all they covered.
for years. The numbers are remarkable. Over the first 60 days of 2018, just to pick it almost at random, the evening news shows and the broadcast networks spent more than twice as much time talking about the Russia hoax as any other topic. Print, even more profound. Since the 2016 election, to give you just one measure, more than 150,000 Americans have died from drug overdose. That's far more than the number of Americans killed during the entire Second World War in the Pacific. Guadalcanal, Okinawa, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, those battles took fewer American lives than opioids did over an even shorter period. And yet somehow, the New York Times barely noticed any of this. During the same period that this number, 150,000 people were dying, the New York Times wrote more than twice as many stories about the Mueller investigation. That mattered more to them. At the Washington Post, the ratio was even starker. Last year, Jeff Bezos' newspaper ran 4,319 articles about the Russia investigation. At the same time, it ran only a little more than 1,000 that even mentioned the opioid crisis. America's shrinking middle class, that got a total of 119 mentions. They, they just didn't care and they weren't pretending otherwise. They don't care. Cable news was, as you know, even worse. All Russia, all the time, for years, to the exclusion of everything else, including, obviously, the truth. Relentless, repetitive, calculatingly dishonest, the very definition of propaganda. That's what they did. And now they can't stop. They've been doing it too long. Watch them test drive their new talking point. See if you can identify which word the DNC has told them to use. The report contains a potentially damning list of ways the president tried to, quote, influence the investigation. Arguing that the Mueller report is far more damning. And it's not pretty. It is an ugly, damning uh, piece of business. I agree with him that it's absolutely damning. Democrats say the report is damning. Report. Uh, but from the special counsel is more damning than all those reports. Far more damning to the president than the attorney general initially indicated. But it's still very damning. I mean, oh, absolutely. Very damning, says Don Lamont. Absolutely, agrees the governor's little brother. And they're right. It is damning. 